Hey guys, this is Josh here with Trillium Wild Edibles. I'm sitting inside of my house and I want to bring you guys a video review of the Indian Herbology of North America by Alma R. Hutchins. This is one of my favorite books on the subject of medicinal wild plants. And In the first part of this video we're going to go over the good things about this book. In the second part we're going to go over the bad things about this book and then why I still recommend this book. So without further ado, let's get started. My favorite thing about this book is how comprehensive this book actually is. As you can see here, it gives you the medicinal part of the plant, it gives you the solvents, it gives you the bodily influence. This book also gives you dosage. It gives you foreign experiences like the Russian experience. It also gives you some clinical experiences if those are available. So this book goes into a lot of detail. Not very many books on the, su on the subject of medicinal wild plants will actually give you the dosages required for each plant. This one does for almost all of them. And it covers various uses as well. They also cover how to use them more specifically in this book. You know, like this one. Inner green bark is cathartic. The infusion of it in wine or the expressed juice and doses from one and a half fluid ounces to one fluid ounce will purge moderately. And that one they're talking about elderberry. So you can see it goes into a lot of detail about how to use each plant. And that's really, really important because a lot of people want that information and they don't know where to get it. This book has that information. Another favorite thing about this book to me is the fact that it lists everything in alphabetical order. This makes it really easy to find what plant you're looking for. So you don't have to kind of guess and flip around to different flower colors, different plant structures, etc. Like in some other field guides or other plant books, this organizes them in alphabetical order and that's just super easy. You know, you flip to a page and you say, oh, well, I'm at eucalyptus. Well, I'm looking for, you know, dandelion. Well, that's, you know, back here. Well, now I'm at crane's bill. And so that's really nice to have that alphabetical order inside of that book with all of the information that's inside of it. Another good thing about this book is the fact that it gives you definitions. In here you'll see definitions for different bodily influences or different medical terms that they use to explain the actions of various plants. And again, those are in alphabetical order as well, which that's really nice to have. The index of this book is really nice. As you may see here, it actually lists as you may see here it actually lists medical issues that you can search for and it also lists the plants as well. So that's something that's really nice to have is that you can go to the back in the index and you can look for maybe a medical issue you may be having or experiencing or maybe you know someone who is and you can find a plant or varieties of plants that may help you with that and then you can ask your physician or doctor or you know, homeopathic specialist or herbalist or whatever the case may be whether or not that would work for you. That is also really nice to have. This book also gives a really really nice bibliography along with general and reference publications and there are a lot as you can as you can see here it starts on page 319 and and it goes all the way until page 352 so that is a lot of reference material that is a lot of different books for you to look up that may help you identify different plants and may help you learn about their uses how to use them their dosage their interactions etc so that is really handy to have. Not many books on the subject have that many references or bibliographies contained in the back of them.